What's up, everybody? Sean D. Man here. Welcome back to the channel. You guys are doing great. I bring you episode nine, the final episode of Halo the series on Paramount Plus. And I am so before I get into the video, you know, be sure you hit that like subscribe button, comment, comment below. Um, I will, uh, I'm doing a review for episode nine, but later on, probably on Monday, I'll have a video uploaded where I just talk about the entire series as a whole, that I like it, things like that. And so uh, be sure you keep an eye out for that uh, this upcoming Monday. So episode nine, Transcendence. All right, so we basically pick up this episode it was good in spots, and then there's just some spots where I'm kind of not not upset, not upset, but eh, it could have been done a little bit better. Like originally, this show was supposed to be, I believe, ten episodes, but they scrapped episode ten, and so they probably had to just do things the way they did. Uh, if they've not, I don't know. It's, it's it what it, what it was is what it was. But I mean, I still enjoyed it. I think it's. Again, into my top, I would say it's probably top three of my favorite episodes, maybe even top two. I I have to um, go back and probably watch it again just to be entirely sure. So, obviously, we pick up with McKee activating the uh, first artifact and causing a whole lot of damage, disrupting the fight with the Spartans. She ultimately takes the piece and escapes while an entry so one of the things i was very after watching episode eight last week was and one of the things i was trying i was hoping they would maybe address i didn't know if they would or not because they didn't feel like they were but the scene with the spartans uh vanek and riz basically have uh Kai to a gunpoint, another gun pointing at Chief. The Chief is trying to explain to them, hey, he called you kidnapped us. Did she did this, 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 and this? They don't believe it. But you can kind of you can kind of tell with Riz, she is kind of apprehensive about it. Uh, but then we get uh Captain Keys and Miranda to show up and Captain Keys basically tells them, Hey, it's all true. I was a part of it. And that was I was hoping they would tie up that loose end, and they did. And maybe that actually that made me pretty happy they were able they did that. Uh, so he just he tells them, hey, it's all true. What Halsey did, I was a part of it. I helped. I had a hand in everything. If, if you're going to shoot anybody, you need to shoot me for what I've done. Which then the Spartan, you know, Vanek and Riz lower their weapons, come to reason, and. <clears throat> Just be like, all right, we're back on your, we're back on your side, which is fine, which is fine. That's not a big issue. That shouldn't be anything. That shouldn't. There should be no big revelation thing like that. It is. It is simple. It's fine with me. Uh, so now you have Riz, Chief, and Vanek heading off to Hangar Seven to catch McKee, while Kai is chasing after uh, Halsey, and that whole sequence in itself was was. Very, very good. It, it looked like uh, Kai. I, I, be, I believe Kai would have killed Halsey if if she had not escaped. She did kill the the sidekick, which is fine. I didn't care much for his character. Sorry about that. I didn't care much for his character, so I'm kind of fine with was him, him dying. It was pretty weird too. So that's all. So. <clears throat> So both Halsey escape and McKee escapes in the Phantom that they confiscated at the beginning of the season. Um, and I thought Kai was going to die after the ship crash, but managed to make it out of it. So now the, the we get to the part where uh, Chief's like, Cortana, I'm going to need you now. And they're back in Halsey's lab or now Miranda's lab and discussing trying to find my key and this whole pretty cool sequence of uh, how intelligent chief is. He's like, is there basically talking about, is there a, a part in this area, in this space area 
I probably said it wrong, but in this particular part of space where the gravitational pull is very heavy and Cortana is able to basically map, not map it out, but pull up images and things like that, letting them, you know, just communicate with them. Hey, this is, this is what I see. Okay. There must be, there has to be a planet there. We just can't see it. And so, <clears throat> you know, they talk about sending 12 battalions of Marines, 10,000 Marines to this planet. Uh, which is a lot. <clears throat> Probably all, they already got, yeah, like Chief said, he sent 10,000 Marines, 10,000 Marines are end up dead, and, it, and it's factual. Uh, <clears throat> and then, the episode, I, I, I wanted a little bit more, the episode did, I feel like the episode overall as a whole, the episodes that I watched, the episode that I watched with the scenes with the Spartans where I was more involved with than what was going on with the other characters like Halsey, Miranda, Captain Keys. Although we did get a nice little uh, uh, couple of minutes of Halsey and Miranda, you know, talking and letting them know, hey, you're you're facing an article, not uh, I'm sorry, Article 72. Which I guess that means death. I I gotta I probably need to look that up, or somebody in the comment section can tell me. Uh, so she's probably gonna be executed, so on and so forth. And because the reason I, I actually like the scenes with the Spartans more than in this episode than I did with the with the other side characters, because just the funny interactions with each of the Spartans. Because we get the scene where they're getting they're loading up, they're getting ready to head out, and Kai t speaks to Vanek and Riz and she's like, are y'all really going to shoot me? And Riz and Vanek were like, oh yeah, absolutely, without a question. And she was just like, holy heck, guys. And then Vanek's like, were you going to shoot me? And she was like, Kai's like, yeah, but I would have felt bad about it afterwards. And, and so I love, I love that funny little interaction with them. Uh, that was very cool. And then as they're taking off, heading to um, the location of the Covenant Planet, or the Covenant Holy, Holy, uh, Holy Place. Cortana, you know, mentions to Chief, hey, the end game was for me to take over your body. Uh, <laughs> but I, I love the interaction now between Chief and Cortana. Uh, it's just like, well, do you still want to take over my body now? And she's like, well, I'll just wait for the less beaten up version. And so that, I, I love that interaction. And then we, we get to a part where McKee returns to the, uh, to the prophets, delivers the artifact. Um, and I mean, even it was pretty obvious at the beginning that my, uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll get into it. I'll get into it. Cause there, there's, I'm a little, I'm, I'm not sure how I like how they did it, but I'll get into it in a second. But anyway, so just to um, <clears throat> talk about, Trying to think which one I want to talk about first, because I, I don't mind really uh, going out of order. So I'm trying to figure out which one I specifically want to talk about. But I think the scene was Halsey. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one first because I kind of want to save the big battle for for afterwards. But the scene with Halsey, we 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 come to find out Halsey is is she's, her nose kept bleeding, and we kept seeing that through the episode where she was kind of wiping her nose. She goes into like. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a shock, and then she's just, yeah, everybody's trying to revive her, and then Miranda starts to get flashbacks from, I believe it was episode maybe six, maybe episode six is, is, is what it was, where Halsey was talking about the Flash clones with Chief in the interrogation, where, and she just lists all of these different conditions of why the clones didn't survive. And then we come to realize this is a clone. And, and, and Aiden mentioned something in the beginning of the episode where he was talking about like the, the project is safe and things like that. And again, we come to find out that the Halsey that was captured by the Marines, is just a clone. And the real Halsey escaped. And man, that was such a, she, Halsey, Catherine Halsey, she is just something else. I'm, 
And then later on, uh, towards the end of the episode, we see that obviously she is, uh, she, she did survive. I'm very curious to see what they do with her character in season two. I think she, again, I, I'll talk more about her character on Monday when I do the full in depth and my thoughts on the series, but I very much love what they did with this character. You, it's, it's, it may not be the Halsey that you're used to, but it is very close. She's so intelligent and so deliberate about the things she does. Now, switch back to the Spartans. They're traveling through subspace, reaching the Covenant Holy Place, and they kind of go through this distortion field. And funny, funny, funny part about it is, is this Vanek's like, Cortana, could have, you could have told us about this. You say, yeah, I could have. But the probability of survival were already low. I didn't want to worry you. And it's just, she's making jokes. I love it. Um, she, she, she now feels like part of the team. Um, and so I was, I was trying to think because there was a moment where like they, they kind of lose connection with Cortana. I, and I, and she just tells Van to stay the course, like stay on this line. I wonder if if that if that was Cortana just kind of maybe communicating through Chief's head. I'm not too sure. That it just was an interesting uh, thought. And then they finally reach the planet, and one of the things that Admiral uh, Pan Panadoski said to, jo to Master Chief was, you know, you need to put these feelings aside. John John can't go out on the battlefield. Only the Master Chief, and we kind of get the, the little iconic music at the at that part of the, of the episode when she mentions that. Um, and it's it, another funny interaction is where Chief's like, "We get in, get out. We get the artifact." And Chief's and Vanek's like, "Just the artifact, Chief." And Kai just comes up behind. It's like he means he means McKee, Chief John. Uh, and he's just like, "Thank you, Kai." And then they just jump off the condor and we, we did see we did see like a quick clips of this um earlier this week but uh grunts are the grunts are sleeping and they kind of just demolish these guys that are napping uh and so set up a perimeter and this is a situation that we now get into where mac mckee touches the artifact causes john to you know freeze up which then has a runt notice him and that's when all the craziness breaks loose you have about over 250 uh zealots and it, this whole battle sequence was cool um and then it was just they, they're holding their own they're doing pretty they're doing pretty good and then now we officially uh, you can basically officially call this one we finally get the brute from episode five and we can again officially now call this guy atriox because if you have the subtitles on or the captions on it mentions you know it'll have different references like atriox roars or growls or something like that and then towards the towards the end of the battle uh <clears throat> which i'll just get into that in a second before i so anyway the, the Spartans in this battle, they got whooped. They, they, they I mean, again, yeah, they, it was four against 200 plus, something along those lines. They, they, they were pretty outnumbered. But when Atriox, I'm just going to start, I'm just going to call him Atriox. But since when he showed up, Riz is like, I got this. And Cortana's like, Chief, you remember him? And it's just like, uh-oh. And he just walloped uh Riz, like it was nothing, and just the action scenes in this during this whole battle sequence was was just amazing, and I, and I just loved it. Just the the, the, the camera angles, just, and then we get we would get moments where we're inside the Spartans' helmets, kind of like you are when you play the video game. You can see on the assault rifle the the, the round ticking down to zero. It was just a very cool thing to see. I was so excited to watch that whole. That whole battle sequence, um, but <clears throat> uh, ultimately they start to get overrun. Uh, that's when Mackie touches the artifact, 
and basically just kind of like what happens in, in, in episode eight with this kind of like the shock wave. It sends a lot of the elites or zealots backwards uh, and it sends John and McKee to the halo ring. Uh, and there's still some zealots coming. Atriarchs are still there as well. And Vanix is getting beat up. Riz gets a, a sticky grenade thrown onto her and she's badly wounded. And then Kai is getting whooped. And it's just, it's just a mess. And this is, and then this is where I wasn't sure how I felt. So McKee ends up getting shot. Kai shoots McKee. I, I don't know if I really liked the way she went out. I, I, I really didn't. I would have honestly preferred her either. I will. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm still. I'm just not sure how I would have felt about. It. I. I figured she wasn't going to make it to a season two, unless it, unless in season two there'll be flashbacks and things like that. But I would rather. I think. I think she should have died a different way than Kai shooting her. Either she should have died with her trying to sacrifice herself for Master Chief or, or, you know, something along those lines. I didn't, I don't think I really liked the way how she went out because it felt kind of cheap to me. Um, I think if I had, if I had a choice, I would have rather have her sacrifice herself to save uh, Master Chief from like a, an energy sword or, or, or something along those lines, something like that. Uh, but McKee ultimately dies and Cortana's telling him, hey, you can't save the team and the artifacts. And John and Chief's like, I can't, but you can take over my body. And then we get the cool scene where he kind of shoots Atriox and kind of gives him that scar, basically confirming it is Atriox. And then he just gets walloped by the gravity hammer. And then we get Cortana taking over his body with the, with the lines that she spoke about when she first appeared. When the game is over, the king and the pawns go back into the chest, if, if, if I said it correctly. And so <laughs> when she took over, that was insane. She was just just demolishing everybody. We could see her controlling Chief. We could see her controlling the condor as it came down to, you know, to provide cover and fire while the Spartans get on the ship and get out of there. She carries the artifact and they were able to escape. Cause, and because keep in mind, the map to the Halo is incomplete because M- McKee didn't get a chance to finish it because the battle started off. And so I'm very curious uh, on how, I'm very curious. So I'll get, and I'll get, again, I'll just, I'll just wait until probably Monday to really get into this because I just don't want this to be a very long review. But you know, I thought Riz was going to die. You know, she had very extensive battle damage, uh, but obviously the the Katana taking over Chief kind of like um, took uh, basically made a little blowtorch and uh, burned or cartelized the wound. Uh, and it looks like she is going to be going to be fine. She is going to survive. And then obviously, Halsey's on is on the loose. The Spartans are returning to Reach with the artifact. We don't know what's the situation with John because even Cortana said, "I don't know if I can bring you back." But he's just like, "I trust you." I obviously, he will get brought back. I'm not sure how. Very curious to see. Um, but that was the end of the episode. Yeah, I I did enjoy this episode. This is one of my top favorite episodes. Um, I may do yet again, maybe a separate video. I haven't really decided yet, but I may rank these episodes and and give my thoughts about them. Um, but I, I I was I thought number one, I thought we were going to get you know the fall of Reach, which we didn't. Uh, because I thought that was going to happen, and then I thought we were going to pick up with season two, with them either traveling to Halo, 
or, or at least something along those lines. But now we we know that's not going to be the case. So I'm very curious to see on what happens in season two of Halo when will that be announced? Um, I it's a good episode. It's a good series. I'll get more about more into it on um, on Monday. But that's it for this review. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below, and I will see you guys later.